When data has equally spaced inputs, or the x values, if the x values are equally spaced, you can look at the patterns in the y values, in the output values, to determine if the function is linear, quadratic, or maybe something else. So the first thing that you need to know or remember is that a linear equation has plain old x, plain ordinary x. That x has an exponent of 1. x to the 1 is simply x. Quadratic functions are squared functions, x squared. When we look at the y values, we're going to find the differences in the y values. So you can either do the second y value minus the first one. So in this example, 4 minus 9 is negative 5. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Or you can think of it as 9 to 4. How do you get from 9 to 4? You subtract 5. How do you get from 4 to 1? You subtract 3. That is called the first level of differences. If the first level of dis differences are constant, then the function is linear. But notice in this model, that first level of differences is not constant. We've got negative 5, then negative 3, then negative 1. It's not the same number. So this function is not linear. So then take the first level of differences and find the pattern in those. To get from negative 5 to negative 3, you would add 2. To get from negative 3 to negative 1, you would add 2. To get from negative 1 to 1, you'd add 2, and so on. If the second level of differences are the same, so if you get a constant number, then the function is quadratic. And I want you to make the connection between first level of differences being the same means the function is x to the first, linear. Second level the same means the function is x squared, quadratic. So say the first level wasn't the same, the second level wasn't the same, but the third level was the same. What type of function do you think it would be? First level is x to the first. Second level is x squared. Third level, x cubed, x to the third. If the fourth level was the same, it would be x to the fourth, and so on and so on. If it doesn't match that pattern at all, it would be neither. It might be something like an exponential function. This first example has really huge numbers. So we're just going to skip it and go to the last page of your notes where the numbers are a little bit more manageable. So turn to the last page of your notes. In example B, First, you need to check to make sure your x values are increasing or decreasing at a constant rate. Make sure that there's, there's nothing crazy going on with your x's. So in example B, our x's are increasing by 1. They're increasing at a constant rate, so our x's are fine. Now let's look at our y's. How would you get from 26 to 74? Add 48. How would you get from 74 to 152? If you don't know, do 152 minus 74. It's adding 78. From 152 to 260, you can do 260 minus 152. It's adding 108. The next one is adding 138. And the next one is adding 168. So is this function a linear function? No. The first level is not the same, so it is not linear. Let's check the second level of differences. 48 to 78. How do you get from 48 to 78? Add 30. How do you get from 78 to 108? 
add 30, add 30, add 30. The second level of differences are the same, so that means it is a quadratic function. Does this seem pretty easy? You just have to memorize first level linear, second level quadratic. Doesn't fit that pattern, neither. So C, to get from negative 26 to negative 11, I believe we are adding 15. Negative 11 to 4, looks like we're adding 15. It does not matter that you're going up by 2 in the x's as long as you're constantly going up by 2. As long as the x values are evenly spaced and nothing's crazy going on there, it is linear. For each of these, we are increasing by 15. And because the first level of differences is a constant number, that makes this a linear function. Okay, try D on your own. Find the first and potentially second level of differences on your own for D. Okay, so the first level of differences are not constant. That means it is not linear. The second level of differences are not constant, so that makes it not quadratic. And right now we're simply asking, is it linear, quadratic, or neither? So we can say this is neither. If you were doing this on an EOC test, you might want to keep going. Um, the third level is not the same, so it's not cubic. The fourth level is not the same, so it's not x to the fourth, which is called quartic. Um, but do you notice that the pattern keeps repeating itself? It keeps doubling. 32 doubled is 64. 64 doubled is 128. When you see the pattern repeating itself like this, this is actually an exponential function. An exponential function is some number raised to the x. X is in the exponent instead of X being raised to some number. So just FYI, if it looks like this, the pattern keeps repeating itself, you notice doubling happening, that means it's an exponential function. But today, all you really need to know is, if the first level is the same, it's linear. If the first level is not the same, it's not linear. If the second level is the same, it is quadratic. If the second level is not the same, it's not quadratic, and that would make it neither. All right.